Good evening, Master Tanaka. Good evening. I am Master Jesus, and I am here to bring some guidance. Each one of you who is here, indoctrinating your own being, is encountering some dissonances in your path, and these dissonances cause you to have some imbalances. What you should note is that these imbalances are being generated through interpretation. So, when you become even aware that this is only an interpretation, then this imbalance will no longer become an impediment. You will observe this imbalance as even a guideline of how you should follow within your own indoctrination. That is why what you must observe is that within each being there are conditionings. What are these conditionings? They are old desires that you have manifested through your energy. And these old desires, they still remain. What you must come to realize when you are in a process of self-indoctrination is if these desires are still pertinent to the work you wish to accomplish through your energy. If these desires are no longer appropriate, then what I am guiding that you resignify all these desires and have them reshaped for this new consciousness, for the new consciousness you are working within. Everything in your life follows a direction. This is what you must always remember, because what must always be maintained in your self-indoctrination process what you have determined to be your purpose. Because what I put to everybody, a self-indoctrination process without a defined purpose, it doesn't become effective. Because everything in your life goes in a direction. And if you don't have a defined purpose, then that direction is not defined. That's why the first step that you should all set out to accomplish is to define this purpose so that you can guide all your energy. Everything you do, everything you create through your mind bears fruit. So what you must allow yourselves to expand your consciousness so that this creative mind can operate. You all possess this creative mind. It is not manifesting because you have forgotten this part of your being. So, when you resume the work of self-indoctrination and within this work you set out to activate your creative mind, then this creative mind readily presents itself for the work. And in this way, I put that this process of self-indoctrination will become more progressive. Because each step that you take in your life, that you propose to accomplish within this process of self-indoctrination, will indeed be an understanding that you have of your own being. And what I say to everyone, the greater the understanding you have of yourself, the more effective is the work you are going to do. So everything in your life works that way. So everything you set out to do must be following this orientation. Because in this way, you will observe that everything you put down as wishes will manifest. With this guidance, I say goodbye. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.